there guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing really, really well. I feel somewhat overwhelmed with the task in front of me right now because today I am, well maybe not just today, like over the next, over this week, I am going to try and get organised somewhat with baby stuff. So I do feel like there's a lot to do and I just don't know where to start and I feel like I just need to take stock right now. I've got half an hour until I need to pick George up so I can't like start really really organising but I really want to take stock of what I've got, where things are and then just figure out where to go from there. So I'm just going to quickly show you around the baby's room which is where I'm stood right now. There's definitely just, I think I've shown you a few things but it's just like I don't know where to start and I don't know where everything's going to go because a lot of, there's a lot of stuff and just it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of place to put it. Um, so yeah, let's just start from here and figure it all out together. So this is the baby's room at present. We have a lot of stuff here from my lovely friends and family who have bought me bits for the baby. Um, coming up, some of it is like hand-me-downs from their little girls. Um, some really, really cute like presents and stuff. Lots and lots of clothes, like there's so much. There's also a random box of kitchen stuff that is to go downstairs, which I'll do in a second. Cot, which hasn't been assembled, but we don't really need to do this. Like I'm not too stressed about this part, obviously. We've still got this futon in here, which is like what we pull out when we have guests stay over. Um, but yeah, the cot will go there eventually. That's this side of the room. Then we come around to the wardrobe, which currently has, again, some kitchen stuff on the top, which I need to take downstairs. And then inside, just like lots of stuff, lots of stuff. So I have started, um, but I need to buy some more hangers for clothes. Like there are some really, really, really sweet clothes that I got from um primark recently um and then again like some hand-me-down bits and stuff i need to get some more hangers before i can really go through clothes i think because we've got a lot of storage for clothes like two rails um so i need to use those properly but i need to get some more hangers like little hangers um from home bargains i think so i'm gonna do that in this video but all of this needs to come out and i need to organize it there's like random hoover in here just because i uh, well i don't really know actually why it's in here <laughs> i just popped it in there recently um yeah there's just loads of bits that i need to go through like a lot of this um yeah i just don't know like there's some there's some fairy lights in there randomly i think that's from christmas so <laughs> i really just need to sort through all of this that is my hospital bag um which is somewhat packed but not completely and then i come round here and i've got a set of drawers which i don't think is staying here because we have a different set of drawers that matches the wardrobe i got this off of facebook marketplace i've got this wardrobe and a set of drawers to match it for 35 pounds absolute bargain but currently we have this set of drawers in here because i couldn't fit everything all in here so this set of drawers, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go, but currently it has lots of clothes in. Um, yeah, literally like clothes galore, to be honest. All separated by age. Um, so in here we've got newborn, then we've got zero to three. Um, but a lot of the clothes I want to be able to hang up because they're like nice dresses and things like that. And then baby grows can sort of stay in here. Well, not in here, in the other set of drawers. I've got loads of bits that I ordered recently and you would have seen this in my newborn haul. But a lot of stuff is also in George's room. So George's room has a lot of storage in it, um, which is helpful for storing some of the bigger items and some of the things that we save from when he was a baby. So for example, his next to me cot, um, bed sheets, uh, like all that kind of stuff. I think like the baby bassinet thing for our buggy is in here. So I'm just gonna go through George's wardrobes and see where all of those things are. See if we need to get anything else like new that I haven't thought of potentially. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then we'll see where we are. <laughs> This is his next to me cot. I'm gonna get this out, make sure that there's like crib sheets and stuff in here because I can't seem to find them anywhere else. So I'm hoping they're in here. Right, oh yay, I can see them already. Crib sheets are in here. Sensible shan from so two or three years ago. Put them in here, in the next to me cot stuff. That is very helpful because I've basically thought I'd lost everything um, because I could only find like the big cot sheets and like mattress protectors. I couldn't find 
any of the next to me pot stuff but it's all in here so i've got like mattress protectors sheets another mattress protector more sheets more sheets brilliant okay yeah i don't think we ever use that and i don't think we ever use that so yeah i think i'll just wash these and see how they come out and then we've got the next to me cot which is the maxi cozy iora next to me cot we liked it when we used it with george so i think we'll probably just use this again oh that's made my day that i have found all of those bed sheets then we've also got the Baby Zen Yo-Yo bassinet that I used for George. And inside it, this is good storage solution, I put the, this is the um, Angel Care Bar Support. I put it in a bin bag for no real reason. I'm sure you guys know what the Angel Care Bar Support looks like, but this is what we used with George when he was newborn and we'll just do the same again for baby girl. Perfect. And then with the bassinet for, the buggy i was thinking about getting a different color for baby girl um but i know it doesn't matter like and obviously if i don't get around to doing that then it it really doesn't matter she can have a cool navy colored one um but i might see if i can get one like second hand maybe on vintage i know a lot of people are listing their stuff on there and i might actually list this on there and then just get a different color because then i won't lose out on any money so that might be something that i do I've got that. That has just opened up a whole load of storage here, so hopefully I can use that for something else. In these two drawers, I think we've got bedding and stuff. So this is all for a cot bed. Um, so not something that we'll be using straight away, but obviously helpful. So yeah, it's all like sheets that are this size, 60 centimetres by 120 centimetres, which I think is a cot bed size. George is in a single bed now, so he no longer uses this bedding. So this is all bedding that I can use for baby girl when she is in her cot along with mattress protectors. I also have a Grow Anywhere blind. I'm pretty sure these are like the Tommy Tippy ones. Basically, these are like the suction cup um, blackout blinds that you can like stick to any window. Um, and they were an absolute dream when George was like a baby. So definitely going to be using that again, especially for travel. And then in this bag, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is like the snooze shade that you put over a buggy um when it's like summer and you want them to sleep and yeah it's lovely it's nice and breathable and i love this with george again put it in the buggy so they sleep for longer perfect and they're kept in the shade and stuff during the summer which is perfect so that is all my sleep related stuff for baby girl that i have so far i think oh i think i also have some sleeping bags for her in this set of drawers this is the set of drawers that i would quite like to put in the baby's room just because it matches the wardrobe bring it out of george's room because at the moment it doesn't have any of george's stuff in it it was literally just popped in here because we didn't have anywhere else to put it to be honest i don't know if i'm going to be able to show you this perfectly but you'll see that this is george's um set up this set of drawers or whatever this is sort of the inner section of his wardrobe basically falling apart so <laughs> these were here when we moved in and it's like an internal rail situation um so these are like hooked on so i'm thinking to take these out um because like they're literally falling apart there's no door on that even that's for his pajamas and like it's such a flimsy like yeah it's really really bad actually i would I ideally like to take these out and then replace them with the big set of drawers that are in the baby's room currently pop that in here and then all of george's bits can go into the bigger set of drawers and then these can all just go to the tip hopefully most of george's like nice clothes are hung up and then like all of these clothes in here for example are like nursery clothes and yeah and the top we just have some i think like nappy related stuff changing bits socks hats um swimming stuff and pants when we eventually get there but not quite yet and a range of odd socks i don't know if these are ever going to reappear i'm pretty sure i know where that one is but yeah you always get the odd socks so they always stay there and i like pair them up and pop them in here when when we find the pair but anyway currently in this set of drawers we just have i really need to like clean this a little bit because like i said i got it on marketplace so and it got a little bit scuffed in the move like when we were moving 
them to this house but at the moment i've got in here bits for baby girl which are sleep related so i need to go through all of this as well i'm pretty sure that these are the clothes that i'm keeping from george like these vary from like newborn all the way up to like nine months i think and then these are like bibs muslins um i think blankets and yeah these swaddles as well so there's so much to go through i feel so overwhelmed with it all in this top drawer i've just got bits that i've been collecting like feeding things so these are just bits that my friend actually just like she's no longer using them so she said she had them left over so she'd give them to me i'm not planning on bottle feeding but it is always nice to have these on hand in an absolute emergency um yeah i am planning on breastfeeding so i've got my um breast shields here for my breast pump i've got like a little sterilizer thing here i used this with george last time and it actually has a couple of bottles and stuff in it already i'm pretty sure these are george's bottles and then we've got like random bits like milton sterilizing tablets and sterilizing bags honestly a lot of this has just been like sat here for a long time so i need to check it all properly but that's just bits i've been collecting and then in this drawer are all bits that i'm collecting for my hospital bag which again i still have not packed but i will do at some point very soon i have shown the majority of this in various vlogs and stuff but a lot of you know big knickers maternity pads flip flops spritz for bits if you know you know i even got these calling maxi pads from boots which i'm really really looking forward to using i mean not looking forward to using that probably the wrong phrase but you know i will use obviously and i'm sure they're gonna be amazing lots of packing cubes stuff like that all of my lovely postpartum essentials i do actually feel quite prepared um in this area of things so thankfully i've got all of these bits already all in one place i just need to pack it all and organize it all properly basically like the majority of stuff is all here somewhere it's just figuring out where and um, figuring out having the time to actually like, yeah, do it all. I actually now don't have very long until I need to go and pick George up and I've just been rambling. So I think probably I will leave it there and I'll pick you guys back up tomorrow and just do like full on getting things all sorted, um, maybe going through clothes. I'll go to Home Bargains on the way to pick George up from nursery and get some of those hangers so I can go through all the clothes and like get all of that into the wardrobes and then like I'll have some empty spaces to like maneuver and organize some stuff but oh gosh it's just like so overwhelming and there's just so much to do and there's so much stuff I feel like I've got more stuff this time than I had first time round with George which I didn't think would be the case with my second but I think obviously like I've got all the things that I kept from George I've bought things like it's just ah I'm gonna go to home bargains I'm gonna get my coat hangers I'm gonna pick George up from nursery and then yeah we'll reconvene tomorrow and go from there I look in the mirror who's looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me were so messed up together Where? Um, Outside, good. it is now a couple of days later um as you would have seen over the last couple of days i have been trying to organize through some stuff but it is a bit of a mammoth task i'm not gonna lie and um yeah being a bit overwhelmed by it or i can't lie the state of 
both George's room currently and the baby's room. Um, yeah, it's just a bit much. And obviously trying to do it around George, who's trying to show me snails in the garden, even the daddy's down there. Um, it's just like, yeah, a bit all over the place. I've run up the stairs now and I'm out of breath, but I'm stopping for a little iced coffee. I've started making this iced coffee with a little um, milk frother thing that I bought from Amazon. I'll link it down below and I'll pop up me making it on the screen because it's so good. It's so, so good. And it's actually powering me through. Um, yeah this chaos <laughs> so yeah this is george's room half his mess half my mess um i'm trying to basically the plan is i need to move these drawers away somewhere so that i can pull out these drawers <laughs> um you need to like get underneath it and like unscrew um the drawers and then you can pull them out but obviously this is in the way at the moment and then i can get rid of these these are going to go to the tip and then drawers that are in here in the baby's room which is also a monstrosity uh, right now. These drawers are gonna go inside George's cupboard. So these are gonna be George's new drawers. Basically, we're just having a shuffle around, but it just feels like there is too much stuff to fit into all of these places. Like, it's just, uh, honestly, my brain is like being fried right now. And obviously we've still got the kitchen going on downstairs. Our garden is in an absolute state because um there's loads of stuff from the kitchen in the garden that's also going to the tip and it's just i just feel just really overwhelmed by it all so i'm doing it in stages bit by bit um when i can and yeah we're gonna just see how it goes it's all fine it's all fine i had a bit of a moment last night but it's all fine at 35 weeks pregnant i do definitely feel like my hormones are taking a bit of a battering right now and i just i'm getting worked up about things that realistically i shouldn't be getting worked up at i feel like because obviously we're kind of fine with the kitchen and things are getting done down there we're getting the flooring done next week which is going to be a big big thing um and then once that's done lots of other little bits can get done and it's going to be done before the baby gets here fingers crossed unless they're really really early but i'm 35 weeks pregnant now that's like close you know <laughs> full term is two weeks away and then my due date yeah granted it's not for five weeks but george came at 38 weeks so that's in three weeks time and i just feel like i've just about got enough time on my hands to figure everything out in three weeks but obviously you don't know whether they're even going to come on time you don't know when they're going to come it's all just like a bit of guesswork and yeah it's just just a bit much that's all but anyway i'll show you what i've done so far I feel like it's maybe not as much as I wanted to get done, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm cutting myself some slack. Right. So as I said, these drawers are going to be going in the baby's nursery. So these are going to be the baby's drawers. I've got one, two, three drawers. I'm thinking, or at least I was thinking as soon as I started filling it up, I was thinking this could be nappy changing, bibs, hats, muslins. And then I realised that I haven't really got much space here for like nappies and wipes but i feel like maybe i can fit in the wipes here and fit in the nappies here maybe little nappies like the newborn i forget how tiny newborn nappies are so obviously haven't actually got those yet but we'll figure out whether this is enough space do you like how many muslins i've got i have learned from experience that you can never ever have too many muslins on the go a lot of these are from when i had george they've washed up really nicely like asian and Nene ones they're really nice got some new ones from asda um yeah some really really nice ones so i really like the bigger like swaddle blankets with the bigger squares rather than the smaller ones got some swimming costumes for baby girl as well i didn't really know where to put those so i just popped those in the top drawer and then yeah like i said nappies and wipes i'm thinking and i'm not entirely sure where like you know nappy creams and that kind of stuff's going to go but yeah anyway that is what's in this drawer for now that is the first drawer the next drawer, not organised, because i still got all of my postpartum stuff, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, but when this is empty, I'm thinking this can be um, clothes. So this can be baby grows and also vests in like the newborn and first size sizes. At present, those are in the other drawers, <laughs> which is in here. Um, so I have gone through those. So these are all the newborn vests, there's like two layers of these. The ones underneath are literally all white vests. And then there's a few there. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably about 16 vests in total there in the newborn size. But these sometimes actually 
like these are quite big for newborn i would say like they go up to about eight pounds or nine pounds maybe so maybe they're like first size as well and then i've got newborn baby grows so these are the size i think that goes up to like what eight pounds maybe something similar to that and then we've got the first size one which goes up to nine and a half pounds um so these are like first size and up to one month so that is that i feel like in terms of numbers We'll obviously see like how big she is when she gets here. I'm thinking like George was in newborn for maybe a couple of weeks and then he went into first size. So I've definitely got more of those. And these are a mixture, all of these actually, other than literally this one, which is the only thing that I've bought for baby girl. Everything in this drawer is secondhand, hand-me-down, whether that's from George. A lot of the like gender neutral ones you can see are from George. This one is as well or from friends and family that have had babies. Oh, actually I did buy this one from the Stacey Solomon range in Primark as well. I'm thinking this will go in her hospital bag or her as her coming home outfit because it's got oranges on and George absolutely loves oranges at the moment. So I really want her to be wearing this when he meets her um, because he'll like, he'll just have a nice association with um, oranges and satsumas because it's like his favorite thing ever at the moment. But yeah, that is everything like clothes wise, like in terms of vests and baby grows for that first initial size. I have got clothes in here as well that are in those sizes. So I believe these are the like outfits, I guess, that we have for newborn and first size. Again, all of these are little hand-me-downs um, or like presents from friends. Like I haven't purchased any of these. Although this is actually George's from when he was teeny tiny up to one month size. Um, so yeah, those are like the newborn slash up to one month size outfits that I thought I would hang up. And then we move on to zero to three months and then I, these are just like coats and stuff like that. And yeah, basically all of this, other than the bits I got from Primark in the Stacey Solomon range, I haven't purchased any of this. This is literally gift stuff. I wouldn't have gone this mad, but I am so grateful. If not a little bit overwhelmed by all of this, that all my friends and family have, you know, thought of us um, when they were handing down all their bits. Zero to three months, like sleeping stuff is all here. So this is all baby grows. I'm pretty sure that's what everyone calls them, but they're the, you know, the long pajamas with the integrated mitts and feet and yeah all the good stuff these ones are zips so i've popped all of those in like this one and these ones are poppers mostly i believe um so yeah i've got plenty of sleeping baby grows or sleep suits whatever you want to call them for the zero to three month size in total i've just counted that there are 25 of those which is a little bit insane but yeah these will go in the other drawers like i said but at least they're organized i can literally just pick these up and pop them in if anyone is interested by the way these little dividers um all of these dividers whatever the color and the size are all from ikea they are the ones that fit perfectly into the malm drawers i can't remember exactly what they're called but i will try and link them down below if i can and then in here again these are all zero to three months these are all trousers and these are all vests um yeah haven't like proper folded them and everything like that because they're not going to be in these straight away um but it, they're all organized into size at least i have now also just popped in all of the bigger clothes that i haven't sorted through yet so i've got the three to six month clothes in here some girl clothes but mostly hand-me-down clothes from George, like baby grows and stuff like that. I've got some shoes in here, which I can't imagine we're ever gonna use, but they're so cute, I can't throw them out. You can see that these are all like, um, still got the tags on everything, but these were handed down to us. So it was clearly like, people had bought them and then not used them, um, but I do just, oh, these are so cute, but a baby doesn't need slippers, but they're adorable. Um, so I've popped all of those in there. Like I said, three to six months in this bag, and then we've got, six to nine months in this bag and then a small bag of some of George's bits from nine to twelve months that's just at the bottom of the wardrobe away organized into sizes for when I have the mental space to actually go through them but yeah I have to admit in terms of organizing that's pretty much all I've done but it is a hell of a lot better than it was before um I just need to do the whole maneuvering of the cut like the drawers and getting the drawers into the right place into the right rooms and then I can really like organize it all and figure out where everything's going but I think I'm gonna have to ask Ash to help me like move the drawers and unscrew the drawers that are currently in George's room because I did have a go yesterday and 
everything was just in the way and it was just like yeah it was just a bit of a struggle so i'm gonna ask him to do that but he is currently doing something in the garden like separating all the crap in the garden into like different sections for tip run number 500 um and then <laughs> i think i might ask him to help me with the drawers a little bit later but i'm just getting insanely overwhelmed by it all and i just need to take five minutes reevaluate, sit down enjoy my iced coffee um which is probably somewhere probably go look at some snails in the garden with george um and then revisit this i also need to do my hospital bag but let's not even get started on that okay so a couple of hours later now and ash has actually moved the drawers for me so the baby's drawers are now in the baby's room and these drawers are now in here i've moved all of george's bits in here i'll quickly just show you through his drawers for interest but to be honest they're actually quite empty because these are actually a lot bigger than the ones he had in there before but yeah i feel like it looks a lot nicer in here actually now as well um we've got all of george's bits in here so like hats and like seasonal bits i think there's like scarves and sunglasses and various things in there socks and then swimming stuff um and then pants i don't i just let's not even talk about it um and then some like little bits like baby oil and some sunscreen and what is this oh nappy cream i don't think we've even ever opened that um and then some wipes these are all his nursery clothes i need to like organize it properly but nursery bits and then we've got trousers and shorts and stuff and then in the bottom pajamas um again i need to organize properly but yeah these are the main clothes that he wears um and there's loads of stuff in the wash but i'll sort that through properly but i'm glad that's all in the right place now and then come into baby girl's room and still some stuff here i've got all my postpartum bits and stuff in my hospital bag ready to be packed there some stuff that i still need to sort through but we have the doing car seat and the isofix base up there on top of the wardrobe ready to be put in the car at any point i guess i just need to clean my car um and then we've got the wardrobe which has got all of the clothes that i showed you earlier and then at the bottom like i said we had all of the spare clothes from ages three to six months six to nine months and nine to twelve months and then on the top of here i've actually got all of the dividers for the zero to three months because i haven't realized that the zero to three months clothes wouldn't actually fit in the drawers which are now here so the drawers are here love it absolutely love that they match the wardrobe and everything but it only has three drawers whereas the other one had four drawers so i had miscalculated um so in here we've got hats bows bibs swimming stuff um and socks and tights and then some swaddle blankets the other swaddles are actually now in here which i've just folded up all in there i need to sort through these bits that will be some sort of nappy caddy situation um but yeah and then this is the changing mat of course this is probably just where i'll change her nappy most of the time if not downstairs on the like portable changing mat um and then going down here is all of the newborn clothes like baby grows and vests so that's all of the clothes in there that i'll probably have that like need access to like straight away um when she first gets here and then at the bottom we have blankets swaddles these are the swaddles that i use so these are the love to dream swaddles these are actually george's old ones um so these are all in the like newborn size he was in these for quite a while these are like the small size so i think it says from 3.5 kilograms to six kilograms so eight to 13 pounds um so that's perfect for yeah the newborn slash you know first three months really and then after that once they start rolling and things then they come out of swaddles anyway so i've got these in like all the different togs i love love to dream swaddles they're just the best they're so good um blankets and then i've also got a sling this is from free rider that i was gifted back like three years ago and i'm definitely going to reuse it because it's super soft so yeah that is what i've popped in the drawers and then like i mentioned earlier we've got loads of just ridiculous amount of clothes really in terms of like outfits and cute bits hung up as well but yeah that is everything sorted i'm feeling a lot more organized now definitely still some more stuff to do but I'm definitely feeling like I'm in a much better like headspace with it all. I was getting really overwhelmed with everything, but you know what? It's all fine. It's actually all fine. Maybe I was stressing a little bit too much. Um, so yeah, know where everything's going and yeah, I feel a lot more, you know, zen about it now. I know what I've got to do next and definitely looking forward to continuing like the nesting vlogs and getting sorted and organised over the next couple of weeks. But yeah exciting times george has literally just woken up from his nap so i'm gonna go downstairs and sit with him for a little bit but for now i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye
Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby